Hi everyone, let's get back to Checkpoint, the green exercise in the book. All right, number five is from an American history textbook. It says, nearly everyone has heard the phrase a Horatio Alger story, but what does it mean? It is often used to describe someone who started with nothing, but achieved great success and respect through virtue and hard work. In the last half of the 19th century, Alger wrote more than 100 inspirational adventure stories that featured impoverished boys in rags to riches tales. For example, a young boy who might be an orphan survives perilous life on the street by selling newspapers. Because of his energy and determination, he catches the eye of a wealthy man who gives him a chance to improve himself. Through honesty, charm, hard work, and aggressiveness, the boy rises in the world to become a successful man. So here we want to ask ourselves, what or who are we talking about? And here we're talking about the term, the Horatio Alger story, or the meaning of it. Okay, and here we're going to use formula number one, because this second sentence is a great main idea sentence. It says, it is often used to describe someone who started with nothing but achieved great success and respect through virtue and hard work. Okay, that exactly explains what that phrase means. But like we've seen before, they used a pronoun here at the beginning of the sentence. So we need to take out that pronoun and then replace it with the full word or phrase for our topic. And so in that case, we can simply say, the term a Horatio Alger story is often used to describe someone who started with nothing but achieved great success. Okay, so that's an easy way to create that implied mean idea for number five there. Again, I know this is the hardest chapter in the book. So if you are finding yourself having problems, you want feedback on any of the homework questions, please email me and let me know. I hope you're all doing okay. Um, we're about we're about halfway there. We've got to finish up um, chapter five and then we have chapter six and then we'll be all set for a final exam. I hope you're all doing well. Stay safe, stay home, and I will talk to you later.